And you don't stop. You know we gonna do it right. <laughs> We're playing Far Cry 6, dudes. This is Trent and... Um, yeah, we're looking for the legend of La Princesia or whatever. It, these, uh, this couple were trying to escape uh, Antonio Castillo or Anton, Antoine Castillo. And so they hid on this island where there was this legend that a ghost would kill anyone who comes in there. Uh, maybe it killed them. We don't know. We're going to find out. I found a couple of notes saying that they were starving and desperate. Revealing that they were hiding out in here. It looks like there's some... Oh, watch out for the jellyfish. Apparently the jellyfish, if you touch them, it will kill you. I don't know if it's a one-hit kill thing or what. Oh, nice. Somebody just left some metal in here. This is a dope-ass cave, though. I mean, it seems like you could... If there's no ghost, you could turn this into a nice tourist attraction. Have you noticed how... I seem to find a way to uh, to uh, profit or, or turn everything into a way to make money in this game. Uh, let's see. I just this, Maybe that's just how I see the world. Okay, torn journal page. Caught a crab today, smashed its shell with a rock, and scooped out the meat. Nothing has ever tasted so good, and I didn't even think of taking some back to Martina until I had finished. Oh. After cramps drove rusted nails into my stomach, I thought the meat... I brought the meat back up, but the pain won't go away. Curled up in my agony, I thought I heard laughter. It wasn't Martina. She's sleeping to save her energy. I don't believe in spirits. La Princesa is just a story. I don't believe in spirits. Coño. <sighs> Some crazy drama went down in here. Yeah. The plot thickens. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I think this is the right path. Some of these underground or underwater uh, passages pretty like deadly because if I don't have enough air, if I take the wrong turn, like I think I may have just done, like I'm not going for that box. I'm sure that you could probably get something out of that box. I'm not going for it. I like that it gives like a lunge with his last breath. That's pretty realistic. Like if you're really panicking for your last breath of air, you're going to do a lunge. I think there might have been another alternate path down there, though. Oh, shit. I could be wrong. Was it worth it just for the metal, dude? And also, where the fuck is he hiding all this metal? Waterlog diary entry. Pablito's father is still out there. Sometimes I swear I can hear his voice, feel his hands on me, telling me how his dogs will tear me apart if I scream. Pablito whimpers in his sleep. The things his father has done to him, to us both. I don't know which of us he hates more. So it wasn't Antoine Castillo. It was, I think Pablito might have been his father because I think that's her. I think that's her bones. I think she died there, which is kind of unrealistic because did everything just pick away at her flesh and eat her clothing too? Like dead bodies don't lay there like that. Unless it's, like, been a thousand years. Has it been a thousand years? Tor Diary. Pablito is a good man. He believes in God. He keeps his promises. It's just... It's just keeping his promise to me may have killed us both. There's some grammatical problems. <laughs> we, we are both out of food and water. We cannot live in a love alone. Yeah, you mentioned that before. But what you don't know is that your boyfriend probably ate the only crab on the island. Or in the cave. But am I going the wrong way? I thought there was another route off to the left there. But I am going to go back up the way I came. This is backtracking, basically. And then I'll get some air. Hopefully I make it. I don't know. Die right here. And then come back down. And then go to the right. Because I think this is a diverging path, and I think that was just a dead-end path. I wouldn't have made it if I tried to go this way from uh, the other direction. Oh, he swims so slow. Come on, Danny. Not a very strong swimmer, are you? All right. 
right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, I got another letter. Bloodstained note. Martina is hot to the touch. I gave her the last of the food and the blind fish I managed to catch. She's delirious, and so am I. The blind fish... I saw something, or someone, La Princesa, a glimpse of hair emerging from the water, lit by the jellyfish. I screamed, lashed out. There was blood on my knife and on the rocks. La Princesa isn't a ghost. She is real, and maybe she is like us. I have to find her. Habito. La Princesa. Oh, grappling hook. Nice. Did you see how I just immediately, almost instinctively, I was like, you know... I bet if I look up, there's something. But the question is, how do I latch on? Because I'm not going to make that jump. Watch. Nope. Woo! Right into the jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe this way is, and then maybe. The oh, there we go. <laughs> Grab onto that one. Why didn't you do that before? Uh, is that another body? I don't know. Is that Pablito? La Princesa is an escaped slave, and she's scared of me. I came out of the water, and she was waiting. I don't blame her. Probably thought I was a slave hunter, too. I hope Martina can forgive me for leaving her alone to die in the dark. It stopped hurting. I can hear La Princesa above me, sobbing. I could climb and reach her, but every time I move, the world spins. All I have is her cries and the sound, the sound of my father's dogs. Love is nothing. Spite is all. Pablito. I wonder if La Princesa is up there. Pablito totally bit the dust right here. Ugh. Yeah, he would have had clothing on. That's a weird looking skeleton foot. Like, that's PS1 level skeleton foot right there. I'm sorry, dude. They cut some corners on this skeleton. They probably just weren't expecting somebody like me to come along and just actually point it out. I don't want to dwell on it too much because the rest of the game is pretty awesome and that's not super important. I think as a developer, you have to, you're have you always evaluating like what's the important thing here? Because if you put all your resources into things that aren't important, then people are going to go, why the hell do the mountains look so good? But the gun you're holding looks like shit. You don't have infinite resources. You this have to choose. La princesa. Que voila, your majesty. Well, I got the treasure. Is this... I'm guessing this is like the shortcut out. It wasn't what I was hoping it was, though. Like, I was hoping for a new gun, or like a silencer, or something. And, now that I've dove down here, I'm a little bit more lost. Oh, wait, okay. I seem to recall, that's if I wanted to go back to where Pablito is. This is if I want to go forwards. I think. I think it's this way. Yeah. Oh, I bet somebody got stuck in there, though. Probably a few people. Alright, this is a tough, a tough swim, this one. Stick to the top. Are there just planes flying by? That's cool. Oh, man, that is a long swim. Look at that. Oof. Is this a fishing spot? I haven't even gone fishing even once yet. Might be worth it. If she's standing there fishing, it's probably an indicator that it's a good fishing spot. Does it show on the map? It does not. But I haven't... While I was down there... While I was down there, I didn't see any fish at all. Okay. Oh, there are fish. Got one. 
Uh, fight fish, reel the line with the L2. I've forgotten how to fish. I think it's the same as... I think it's the same as Far Cry 5, but... I'm not doing so hot. He was closer before! You just gotta wear him out. That's all it is. Look, he just came right in. Got some snook meat. Give me that snook. Are there other kinds out here? What do we got? I don't, know, I don't want to do too much fishing. This is not the, the fishing episode. <laughs> oh man, he's coming right in. Look at this. It's another snook. What do we got? Oh, it's a fr French grunt. I'll take it. Beautiful fish. Seems like it is a good fishing spot. Oh man, do you see all these fish? How do you know? I'm gonna have to look up the guide. Like, how do you know if you caught all the fish from this spot? No. What do we got? Marlin? Nope. It's a horse eye jack meat. Huh. Cool. I think we need some fish for purposes of leveling up our gear, which I know makes total sense, right? Got to catch a fish if you want to level up your rifle. <laughs> okay. They didn't exactly upgrade their fishing. Oh, this guy's tough. A real tough guy here. So you've got to ease off. Give him some slack from time to time. And then when the line is green, you can reel him in. But when that line starts to turn red like that, the warmer it gets. All right, come on, come on. All right, we're bringing them in. It only really breaks if you're trying to reel in when it's really tight. Oh, he swam right at me. <laughs> this is another horse I jacked. That's a good-looking fish model, man. Whoever's in charge of modeling the fish, they do a good job. We're going to do just like one or two more, okay? Yeah, I don't want to make it a big thing for this episode, though, you know. And one more. Because I think, yeah, we've kind of gotten like four variety out of this. And I don't think they're going to fit like more than four or five variety in one area. Although there's probably like some rare fish. Sometimes I like to play Red Dead Online and uh, or Red Dead Re Redemption 2 and just go fishing and horseback riding. It's kind of nice. There's one mission where you can do like some canoeing down the river. It's pretty cool. I'm oh, trying to get away, are you? Seems like you want to pull in the opposite direction they're going. Oh, it's a French grunt. Okay, cool. Hmm. We're good. I think we're good on the fishing for now. Holster that fishing rod. <laughs> I'd be kind of fun to just take a little boat out. There's a jet ski. I don't think I've... Have I gotten to drive a, a jet ski yet? Do I need to drive a, get a jet ski through here? <laughs> Let's find out. No, I don't need to drive a jet ski. I should probably go and do the Blood Ties mission. Oh, that's the one with... Um... Yeah, what's her name? Espada. So we started that one, so I might as well finish that one first. This guy got something to say? Here. Yeah, sometimes they tell you stuff if they have the exclamation point. Tell me what you know. Danny, the army's trying to control our movement with a checkpoint. 
Taking it out is a priority. Appreciate it. Did I know about this checkpoint? Oh, I didn't. Or it wasn't marked on my map. I would have found it. It seems like it's a pretty major highway there. I don't know. I'm actually I'm having such a good time with this game. I feel like I feel like I could probably play through the whole thing on on here. Hola. At least the story. I don't know. That's how I'm feeling anyway. I feel like it's almost not worth Welcome checking this yet. Area. Until you get until you get like a lot of new shit. Let's check our journal and set the journal to the not Claire, what was her name? Espada. Yeah, just make sure that we're uh, assigned the proper mission so that our checkpoint shows up as the correct one. Oh, we can go horseback. That's nice. I don't know who left this here, but uh, we'll take it. That's a good horse. Oh, I think we found the owner of the horse. <laughs> can we jump? Hey, all right. Dude, this is a fun Slow game. Now. Look at that. There's little towns everywhere. There's roads. Let's go out to the road. I'm getting a little dizzy, though. Uh, the horseback can't handle really steep cliffs. Just beautiful. Beautiful game. Oh, here we go. We're already here. Uh, maybe I can scope... Whoa. What was that? So, did somebody shoot at me? What the hell? Something like exploded right next to me. So, oh, she's probably going to give me the... Uh, we're going to scope out a camp or something that we're going to infiltrate together. And by the way, co-op infiltration in Far Cry 5 was absolutely fantastic. So... Hopefully I'll get a chance to play a little bit of that with this game. Maybe I can get my buddy Matt to play. That'd be cool. Although I tried to do the recording with the online multiplayer game and it just did not record the audio very well. You need to get a new, one of those fancy headset mics. Why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. Oh, the heat. How you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? <laughs> and then we kill more soldiers. Jeez. I like it. Well, let's scope the place first because... Like on Overwatch. Yeah, any kind of advantage that we're gonna get is gonna be helpful. That's as far as I can zoom in, so it's about as good as I can do. There is a zip line right here. Maybe I can get in a little closer. He's collecting so much gasoline. Where is he storing all this gasoline? Eyes up, Danny. Mm, where's my bow? I'm going to try to keep it quiet. That means I'm going to have to try to circle around. Where? Shit, somebody over here to the right. Is it the guy on the rooftop? Dude, the soundtrack, I didn't even realize. That's like a really good... Like a stealth infiltration track. There's tension. Like, it could blow up any second. So this is the thing. There's a lot of talk right now about like a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, right? But the thing is, especially playing this, I'm like, you know, 
if you do it, just use the story. But like, it's got to be modern gameplay mechanics. I can't make that shot. It's too far. What I'm going to try to do is sneak up to where this guy's at. See if I can find a ladder up there. Hey, there's a ladder right there. Um, let's see if I can take out the sniper from up here. Real quiet. There he is. He kind of sees me, but he doesn't really see me. Can I walk along this? Oh, nice. Ooh. There's another guy. I gotta mark him. Two of them. But I'm not close enough to take the shot. That's the problem with the bow and arrow. It doesn't have a really long range. That's why I'd like to get a, a suppressor on that sniper rifle. So I could take out these guys from really far away. Like that's probably too far also. This guy though? Oh, he's toast. If he comes out, he's donezo. What? Oh man! We spotted Guapo! Shit. Oh, it's because I brought Guapo. Can I make him... Uh, can I withdraw him? Yeah, dismiss him. You've given away my position, Guapo! Oh, this one's this one's donezo. I gotta get a oh private Estada. Can I get a headshot? Yeah. <laughs> Do they know where I am now? Did that give away my position? It kind of seems like they're lighting this place up right now. There's a good chance. No, they don't know where I am yet. There must be something else coming through the camp. But they are on high alert. They're looking for intruders. For sure. I think that's a tank. I don't know how I'm going to do this without taking over a tank. My plan was to go in totally silent and stealth kill everybody, but Guapo put a put the kibosh on that. I need to get down to the ground floor. I think the best way to do that is to parachute down. Into a low spot. Yeah, we got allies, but I didn't call them or anything. They just came running in. Yeah, the enemy's totally unaware of my presence. Still. That's the way I like it. Maybe I can get around to the side. Go behind them. Yeah, they might not even realize I'm here. Hold still. Got a shot on him, didn't even know it. I didn't even know! I only got three arrows left. Because I'm not collecting them after I make a kill.
I'm gonna make a break for the rooftop. I think he spotted me. This guy did. Oh, nice. Oof, nice moves. That was pretty slick, but not slick enough. All right, time to collect some ammo. Search the place for stuff. Oh man, that would have been a good spot to climb up right here too. How about these games are so fun to build levels for? I love the uh, the editor that they had in the the last game, Far Cry Five, or yeah, it was Five. Well, I got more arrows. I don't have enough to take out that tank. I do not have the uh, ammo or weapons. Maybe that should be what I should be looking for when I'm going to the armory. Man, are those security cameras? Damn. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be up here. I need to be on the ground floor. So I'm gonna take the ladder down. I know a lot of people would probably go in guns blazing. I like Call of Duty style. I, that's not how I do it. If I can, I'm gonna opt for the more stealthy approach. I love sneaking up behind enemies. To me, that's just more fun. When you pull it off, I mean, I'll go to battle if I like if I blow my cover. But I wonder if I can make this shot. That's really far. Is there no arrow drop? Like no. Oh. Oh no, that's what I didn't want. Break this thing. What the hell? You can't destroy it? Nope. Now there's gonna be backup. Damn it. There's like one guy. Well, I guess I didn't know how I was gonna take down the tank anyway. This is an answer, though. It's certainly a solution. I don't know how effective of a solution. Yeah, it's chipping it down. Come on. Oh no, there's an explosive grenade. Oh, it didn't kill me. Yeah, all right. Didn't do too bad. Oh shit. Get the cover. Gotta heal it up. Ooh, pulled the bullet out. We switched to the chain gun. Or the uh, light minigun. I mean, now we're just gonna have a ton of these enemies to fight. Since they called in the alarm, the security alarm. But I don't know how I could have taken out that tank anyway, except maybe if I commandeered it, possibly. Let's just heal up while we can. I could probably call in a Wapo. Oh, I also forgot about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a Supremo. I think that was the final blow. That's not too shabby. Yeah, I think we're in the clear.
I think we got some scraps here. Collect some metals. Get some ammo. It's time to scope the place. Ooh, auto pistol. Hey. Auto pistols generally do not have uh, suppressors, though. But we'll see. Oh, is there a note there? Did I read this already? I'm trying to read notes wherever I see them. Requisition order. Running out on building two. Send Gabriella to town for more supplies. Concrete and pallets of rebar. Okay. Uh, there, <laughs> you need supplies? It looks like the building's still under construction. My guess is that we've got to go in here. I thought I saw her run in here. What are you waiting for? Waiting for you. Let's read the note. Neatly written note. Improve production operations. Increase capacity utilization. Increase efficiency. Build new facilities to achieve desired production rates. Capital expenditure. Trim fat without cutting corners. That's every game studio I've ever worked at. It has a list just like that. With a bunch of business guy speak. <laughs> Get away from me! Fuck me, mierda! Circle around the horses, the wagons, as they say. <laughs> Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Alejandro Montero. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time. Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Vale. Suéltame. <laughs> I'm gonna break his back. I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running through the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself. What is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa oh. gave up on me a long time ago, and you know it. Well, you are a frickin' sellout working for a murderous killer tyrant. Police at beach, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Sorry, but your brother is an asshole. You believe in Viviro? It's killing people, man. I guess that's the thing about a story, though. It's like when you see it from the perspective of the reader, the viewer, the watcher, it's always skewed. I wonder if there is a way in which Hola. You good? Anton Castillo isn't the bad guy. I never thanked you for helping me track down Ali. I wasn't exactly honest with you. All good. I was glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you know my brother was military. He's a traitor. I see. Nice. But he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. See, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that unconditional family obligation thing like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I know it's, it's a cultural thing, too. Is that a mine? Is it going to blow up if I get close? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, your brother joined the bad guys. Yeah, he's on the shit list. Yeah, I don't think there's any any redemption for Anton Castillo. I don't think that there's any perspective through which it seems acceptable for him to give the orders to murder a boatload of people. Wait a second. He himself did not give that order. 
He said, let these fish go. And then they sank the boat. Have we seen Anton Castillo himself shoot at him? Huh. I never take anything at face value. It's possible that some, some general in his army is actually betraying him. Bring this vehicle to a vehicle pickup point. You will then be able to call it from any vehicle pickup point. What? <gasps> what? How high can this th bird fly? Like, we got to find out here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't have an altimeter. Uh-huh. Still going. Still flying. Wow. Okay, getting some good elevation here. Not quite GTA 5 elevation altitude, but pretty good. Look at that. Can you see the city from here? Still, still rising. Look at this. Maybe, actually. Oh, that's as high as it goes. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down. Okay, so where was the vehicle pickup point? Oh, I guess just from the hideout. Let's go. Yeah, let's head back. And then does that mean you can regenerate more of them? Like if this one gets blown up or is it like you got one and you can call it from anywhere? That's the part I want to know about. And are there any weapons? Yeah, it's not like this is the most amazing. Oh, it does have machine guns. Hey, that's why you want this one. Yeah, we want to take this to the helicopter pad. Which I think is like right here. I want to say it's here. Yeah. I want to say that's it right there. Like, how could they not spot me, though? Oh, shit, that was a heavy thing. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> Ooh. Locked it in, bro. Not a great landing, but uh, now... Yes. <laughs> cool. Okay, so uh, if we check our journal... Oh, it's interesting. It only uh, shows you the map areas that you've actually uh, traveled by foot. There's this part of me that wants to go through and just go to every anti-aircraft site, etc., you know. But this is this is going to be a big game. I'm still in Madrugada. Ah, man. They said it was like a 30-hour game, but I think this is like a 100-hour game. <laughs> Okay. Journal. Let's see. Where's this mission? Oh, not where I want to go. Not where I want to go. Go back to the journal. So not the Clara Garcia mission. Not the Carlos Montero. What about this Clara Garcia mission? Is that near me? Nope, they're both over there. What about Yaren stories like the Juan Cortez story? Let's check the map for that. That's Where's that? Oh my god, that could be anywhere. What does it even say? Time for a superhero team up. My weapons and your skills. Acquire all of Juan's weapons. Oh, it's like a world thing. It's not like a... Yarn stories aren't just one central location. There's the checkpoint that I just got, though. Uh, marked on the map, but I think we should just go ahead and go with uh, probably some of the main story missions like uh, the Carlos Montero mission It says it's a rank three. They're all rank three. So it's probably within my realm of Challenge for the level I'm at Not really levels, but you get what I'm saying, hopefully Yeah 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one where we got to bomb the shit out of this tobacco farm. I kind of wonder if I could just shoot the place up. This is the disadvantage of getting a aerial vehicle really early in the game, though, is that you don't really learn the lay of the land, like the layout of everything. New military target revealed. Um, should I go loud? I love a stealth option, though. Like, I love going in stealth. I'm going to just park this thing out on the street outside of the, the place. <laughs> then, this time set it down real soft. You see that? Even though this helicopter has uh, machine guns, I think it's going to be more fun if I go in on foot. Yeah, with arrows. Carlos, it's Danny. Danny from Libertad. I know. You think I forgot or something? No, I just didn't know if... What? Forget it. I'm coming up on some of Nervous? Castillo's poison. Look for yellow containers. Crop dusters and fumigators got the poison too. Okay, yeah. I'm on it. Yeah, but first things first, I gotta look for some ammo. And it might be beneficial. Ooh, gunpowder. See, it's a good thing. You gotta check those uh, cases, man. Gunpowder is like basically a level up almost. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just kind of scope the area real quick. Well, there's the yellow containers. There's like nobody here. Fumigator. Great. One. One fumigator. Is there a way to call in for some backup? Or do they just show up? Because if they're just going to show up, they're going to blow my cover. Like they did last time. I wasn't able to spot more than a couple of dudes. But I know there are a lot more over there. It would be great as if I had C4. Or some kind of a, a detonator with explosives. Because then I could go in, light up that uh, Vivido container, get out of there, blow it from the outside, nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. But I just don't have any C4. Look at this. No C4. What's this thing? A repair tool. I did get more arrows though. I don't know if you saw that. I wonder. One shot. Nice. That worked out real well. Who the hell is coughing? Ideally, I think it might be... Whoa. Did somebody see me? I'm in the bushes, man. How can you see me? He moved his head. Oh. Almost did not make that shot. Wasted like three arrows. There's somebody over there struggling. I can hear it. You feeling stealthy? You feel it? That music feels real stealthy. What's going on? Yep, and then Libertad shows up. And the whole camp goes on alert. Did they call in a chopper too? Oh, 
Oh shit. Yeah, the helicopter's gonna spot me. Watch. Shit. Oh, just come around the corner. Come on. Let's do it. What, did the guy in the chopper tell him I was here? Oh. I'm not sure if he saw me. Oh, shit, he did, definitely did see me. <laughs> I'm probably too close to these things. Better heal up. I tried to go stealthy, did not work out too well. Did not work out too well. I think I have to go loud. Because the Libertad assholes show up, they get all these alarms going, calling in helicopters. I was fine sneaking in. Is there like an option for that? Why? Why did they come running in? Options? No. Why would it be there? Gameplay. Yeah, these are all just control stuff, but it's not gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand why all of your um, allies will show up and start setting off alarms while I'm trying to do a stealth mission. That seems a little uns uh, absurd. Like I gave no indication that I wanted to swarm the place. Why would they do that? Well, at least the containers are already busted up. Who's coughing? Are there prisoners somewhere or something? That did not work out too well. There he is. Oye. Y gracias. Yeah. Than anyone else with that shit anymore. We gotta take out the planes too. But I didn't see an airstrip. Is there a guy in that tower? There must be. Over here! No, he's right there. Sponge! Jeez, he's just wearing a rubber outfit. He went down a little easier. I think there's just a lot of sway on this rifle, or this gun. See that guy trying to run me over? Where the hell are these uh, airplanes at? Maybe I gotta drive around to find it. Come on, we can't lose them. 
Maybe it's the other markers, I guess. Whoa! Okay, getting dizzy. Jeez, my nose. Okay, ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, where's the road? Shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think I think I gotta go basically to those other. That might be where the airstrip is. Yeah, because I think this area is pretty cleared out. The target marker is gone. So just cut through the field. <laughs> I think I lost him. Looking for this airstrip. It's not the same airstrip I was at before, is it? I don't think so. Shit, that guy almost spotted me. Uh, it might be wise to go by foot. Looks like we got another tanker, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, again, I wish I had, like, a C4 or something. I'll have to come back and blow that thing up. I did come through here. Because I remember this waterway. Just from like a couple of episodes ago. Better watch myself. But there was no reason to be here back then. What? How did they see me? I'm trying to go under... You better holster that or take a walk. Don't know how to follow instructions? So you do have a break. Who are you talking to? Ooh, sniper. Sniper. Oh no, that was too risky. Way too risky. <laughs> oh shit. Like a one pixel off. Just one pixel for the headshot. Where? Where are you? Where? Can't see him. Well, I must be behind the fence. Well, that's one of the planes I got to destroy. There's two of them. You better investigate. Oh, there are a bunch of them. Yeah, go check it out. Shit, three arrows. What the hell? These guys are like Terminators. Did that guy have a rocket launcher? I have to go find out. If I can grab his rocket launcher, I'd be so thrilled. And that's a no on the rocket launcher. Even though he had one. Oh, kind of a ripoff. Because I could use something with explosives. I got nothing to explode. Oh, I guess I have um, Supremos. Can I just switch my Supremo to the... Yeah. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. 
Let me just collect a few things first. I don't want to set off any alarms while I do this. But it seems like all the guys are dead, so... You totally freaking missed. Now I'm going to set off some alarms. Wow. Come on, dude. Give me, like, some kind of grenade or... Oh, this does more damage than my light minigun. Yeah, actually, this gun does more damage <laughs> than the machine gun. Walking up behind me like that. Broke my wrist and everything. Okay, I remember that there was a truck over here with Vivido. And that ain't working for me. No Vivido trucks. Let's use this, and then we can uh, use the machine gun. Use the mounted gun. Oh, well, first I gotta drive over to it. But I'm running out of time, man. Oh, man, there's a sniper up there? Oh, this is no bueno. Where was that? Oh, man, it says I'm not even done back here. Ah. Okay, I gotta, I gotta cut this episode short. We're going to go back in and we're going to blow up if there's any other planes or Vivido over there. Probably in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, absolutely in the next episode. Uh, but this seems like the best spot to cut it. It's not the best spot to cut it. But I have to cut it because I only got an hour. Okay. See you in the next one.